within the oils that we studied, we primarily focused on seven fatty acids. We studied palmitic acid, which is a carbon 16-0 saturated fatty acid, steric acid, which is a carbon 18-0 saturated fatty acid, oleic acid, which is a carbon 18-1 omega-9 monounsaturated fatty acid, linoleic acid, which is a carbon 18-2 omega-6 um, uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid, and alpha linolenic acid, which is a carbon 18-3 omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acid, um, gamma linolenic acid, which is a carbon 18-3 omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acid, and then finally arachidonic acid, which is a carbon 24 omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acid. One of our primary focuses was on the difference between omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. While the only difference physically is between the double bonds, omega-3s are good for our health, but omega-6s can be detrimental and can cause inflammation. For example, linoleic acid, which is an omega-6 uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid, when consumed in the body, elongates into arachidonic acid, a 24 carbon, which can lead to inflammation. Uh, well, come, upon studying this, we came across an article about wild versus farm-raised salmon. Wild salmon are <laughs> wild salmon eat primarily omega-3 fatty acids, and in their body that elong elongates into EPA, which is something that our body needs. While farm-raised salmon are fed primarily omega-6 fatty acids, which in their body elongates into arachidonic acid. So if we consume too much farm-raised salmon then we are consuming more arachidonic acid, which leads to inflammation. We suggest that uh, consuming a ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 of about 3 is healthy, but beyond that, it becomes uh, inflammatory. Also, what we found is that most people consume uh, vegetable oil over any other oil, which can uh, be kind of alarming because vegetable oil contains mostly omega-6 fatty acids. In our studies, we uh, found that through the rancidification process, omega-3s, uh, I mean, omega-6s increase through the rancidification process. Also, what we found is that unsaturated fatty acids in regular oils become saturated upon rancidification. We found that saturated fats can also lead to inflammation because they activate a TLR4 pathway, and that leads to other pro-inflammatory pathways that re, uh, release reactive oxygen species, which leads to some of the 39 autoimmune diseases discussed in a later video. Hi, I'm Kevin Matar, and within our experimental research group, we organized all the uh, fatty acids from palmitic, steric, oleic, linoleic, alpha linoleic into three specific groups, or general group groups, saturated fat, monounsaturated fat, and polyunsaturated fat. And within that, we organized it into this nice uh, table that we made and it's comparing canola, coconut, grapeseed, peanut, company A and vegetable oil to the, uh, the ones we produced and to the company standards. And there we had, uh, within the saturated fat, canola and grapeseed oil go down while the other four fatty acids go up. And then within monounsaturated fat, which is only oleic acid, uh, coconut oil went down while the others went up. And then within polyunsaturated fat, the grapeseed oil goes up while the others go down. So it was very close to the consistency in most parts. Hi, my name is Grace. When viewing our graph chromatograms, we use reference samples from new check to compare fatty acids in their respective retention times. From approximately 200 chromatograms, the data showed that saturated fatty acids tend to increase from regular to rancid as shown through the coconut oil chromatogram. In addition, linoleic acid also increases between regular and rancid. Sample. Linoleic acid is an omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acid which biosynthesizes into arachidonic acid within the body, which in higher elevations causes inflammation. This significant increase is shown between the regular and rancid grapeseed oil as the percent area increases. The arachidonate, which is the methyl ester of arachidonic acid, percent area also increases between the regular and rancid samples that we study. We double checked the arachidonic acid peaks with isolated arachidonic reference. Please refer to the video on the inflammation pathway for the pathway of arachidonic acid.